All right, today we're going to talk about operations with integers, and we're going to focus on looking at addition and subtraction by looking at models of ways you can show students how to um, add and subtract integers. One of the models we're going to look at is using counters, and we're going to use the double-sided counters. So this problem says 3 plus 5. So we put out three yellow counters, which are positive, and we're adding five yellow counters. And then this shows that there is a total of eight. It's really good to start with an example that students understand and can build from their background knowledge with. So if we were to do this on the number line, again, we would start off with three. And I'm just using Uniflix, Unifix blocks. So we have three starting at zero. And then we would add a set of five more. And together, students can count on the number line or they can count the individual blocks to see that that's a total of eight blocks. And you'd want to start with an example like that. Another example would then be to add a negative. So three plus negative five. Again, you can start with the three counters. That's those positive ones. And then you would add five negative counters, which are the red side. When you do that, you want to talk about how one positive and one negative together make a zero. So we would take out our zero pairs, and we'd end up with a total of negative two. You can do that on the number line as well. We'll start off with three unifix fix blocks, and we're going to add five negative blocks to that. So when we add our five negative blocks, we're going to start where the three is, and add our five negatives. Negatives go towards the other way. They go towards the left. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five negative blocks, and that ends us up on the number line at a negative two, which is the same as the counters. This helps connect the way that students have learned to add either through a number line or just adding objects in the past. This also works for subtraction. I'd want to start with a problem that's very familiar to them again. So we'd have five, one, two, three, four, five counters, and it asks us to take away two. So we're just going to take away two, and they're left with three counters. Do the same with the unifix blocks. We have five blocks, and then they can take away two and they're left with three. Again, this is to connect them to what they already know. Then you can move into then you can move into the integers and use a negative five minus two. So we're going to start with negative five counters. And it asks us to subtract two positives. We don't have two positives, so that we need to add zero pairs. If we add two zero pairs, that allows us then to take away two positives. And we're left with negative seven. What that looks like on the number line with the unifix blocks is we start off with negative five, and then we add two to, to make our, our zero pairs again. We add two positives and two negatives. We're gonna take away those two positives, and we're gonna end up with seven negatives. This is just one way to connect to what students already know and help to build the conceptual knowledge around operations with integers. For more information, you can, research, you can look at this elementary and middle school mathematics book called Teaching Developmentally by John Vandewall. The mathematics office has a copy that you could look at